Welcome to our J Crazy News Headlines and a special Wednesday to the watching this news broadcast. Now in Jamaica right now it's a holiday which they call Ash Wednesday. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, first on the news, in St. Elizabeth, a man known as Austin was found hanging from a tree last Friday. Now based on information, Austin is from Fairfield area in St. Elizabeth and he was found hanging from a tree close to his home. Now based on information, he and his wife had marital problems. Now Austin found out that his wife got pregnant for another man. His wife got pregnant for a side man, my viewers and my subscribers. After hearing this news, Austin went into deep depression where he took his life by hanging himself from a tree. Now he and his wife shared a daughter together, but somehow his wife could not remain faithful and she ventured out of the marriage and got pregnant for another man. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, suicide is never the answer. If your relationship or a marriage isn't working, you simply part ways, go separate ways or get a divorce. Taking your own life is never the answer and it's never the solution. Now this man take him own three points and this little girl is gonna grow up without a father, my viewers and my subscribers. Sad sad case once again. This is the second suicide act in St. Bess for over the weekend. Now we head towards New Market, St. Elizabeth, where last night five gunmen broke into a bar and got away with a large sum of money. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, look closely on your screen right now. This video is of the five men caught on camera. Can you imagine so many robberies are happening in the parish of St. Elizabeth? And I have never seen the police catch or kill any one of these robbers. And this leaves me in great suspicion. Is it that these gunmen are so crafty and skilled that the police is always behind them when it comes down to steps? These gunmen are one step ahead, my viewers and my subscribers. They go into St. Elizabeth, different areas in St. Bess and rob and get away, scotch, clean. Now, we know that in St. Bess, there are a lot of corrupt cops that basically get money from these criminals to turn a blind eye or keep their mouth shut. And did you know that some of these robbers that are robbing areas in St. Elizabeth are cops in the day and gunmen in the night? Yes! Most of these gunmen you see are robbing places in St. Elizabeth. They are rogue cops. They are corrupt cops posing as gunmen robbing supermarkets, robbing bars, home invasions and other establishments. They are rogue cops that are operating robbing areas in the parish of St. Elizabeth. And these rogue cops have inside police officer friends who work at various stations across St. Elizabeth. And they tip off these rogue cops that are doing the robberies that police soon come. If you notice, whenever there's a robbery in St. Elizabeth, the police take long to come. As the robbers get away, the police them come and they see him, my viewers and my subscribers. I have been noticing these things and I said to myself that these robbers have to be rogue cops because they get away so scot-free after they do robberies all over St. Elizabeth. The police, SeaTac, Fitzbailey need a major investigation in the parish of St. Elizabeth because Trust me, I can guarantee you that some of these robbers are police officers, corrupt rogue 
cups. Now we head towards Mandeville, Manchester on the Winston Jones Highway where last night exactly 9 p.m. three men lost their lives for in a deadly crash which involved two taxi going on the same route my viewers and my subscribers now around 9 pm last night the two taxis were heading in the same direction when they both collided with each other basically they were racing and they both lost control when the two cars hit into each other now the picture you're seeing right now is a taxi that overturned killing three men and injuring several persons one of the men was a taxi driver himself. The two other victims are known as Fabian, who is a chef, and also Wayne, who is a porter, and he worked at the Mandeville Regional Hospital in Mandeville, Manchester. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, speeding was the cause of this fatal crash, which sent three men to the hospital, and they both succumbed to their injuries, and causing other injuries to several persons who were both in the two taxis. Now, I said before, speeding was a cause, racing them a race. Now, I said this to say that to the passengers, please me I beg you know, when I see taxi men driving reckless with you inside that vehicle, tell them to stop the vehicle. They manage to stop the vehicle, tell you want to come up because your life is more important than a race and some of these taxi men not all but some of them drive so reckless and not at the new traffic act they are still driving reckless they are taking their life and your life as a passenger as well yeah man i'm here to see a black legend i'm here to represent for j crazy youtube reviewing channel so watch like comment subscribe and share out the thing j crazy youtube reviewing channel in review news and entertainment celebrity lifestyle movements as well j crazy not play when him a review the thing them j crazy youtube reviewing channel in review news and entertainment celebrity lifestyle movements as well j crazy not play when him a review the thing them Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy